Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I was trying to sound like an owl. Right now, we're going to be checking out the scariest, most evil, demented, creepy games. There's something behind you. Boy, you bit that out of here. We're literally like like this close to 500,000 subscribers, so please help the channel get there. Just click the subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below the scariest thing you've ever seen. You can put your grandma, you can put cockroaches, or you can put your booty. Let me know. And let's go. By the way, now that I have like the diamond key. Whoa! What? Okay, that guy. What me. the frick was that? Your mama. Oh my god! What's that? Damn! Is that what the, the ten-tailed beast? Am I supposed to fight that? Okay, I'm gonna toss grenades at it. It's literally spitting the neighborhood puppets. Ew. Oh my god! Bro, grenade! Get oh, it's shooting the kids out. Oh my god, it's a boss fight. Die! 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 Kill it, man! Oh my god, it's already laid bro. eggs. They are literally everywhere. Ugh. Get bodied. Oh, you did it. Yo, let's go! <laughs> Damn! Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I swear, this is the worst play performance I've ever seen. It's all interactive, and I gotta destroy that big old pink Sesame Street monster. Look at this man's face at the top. He can't believe what he's looking at. I can't believe I'm still looking at your face, man. <laughs> mm. I mean, you at the top, you kind of look like that Muppet at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Terrifying games you shouldn't play, part 11. Terrifying beards you shouldn't have, part 11. <laughs> oh, sorry. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. If you win this game, you will be blessed with good luck for an entire year, but the consequences for losing are high. To play this game, you'll need to find a pumpkin patch. The bigger, the better. And you'll also need to bring a small white candle. At exactly 2 a.m., you'll need to find the largest pumpkin in the pumpkin patch before saying the words, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, three times. Next, you'll need to light your candle and say the words, I found your head, come and take it. This will summon Headless Jack. Jack will come to you and ask where his head is. Don't say anything in return, but give him the pumpkin that you have selected, after which he will say very well, very and the well. game will begin. You will need to hide from him without letting your candle go out until sunrise, and you can't leave the pumpkin patch. Luckily for you, Jack cannot see or hear, but don't underestimate his abilities to find you. If you manage to avoid him for the entire night, he will give you the pumpkin that he is wearing. Eating this will grant you good luck for a year's time. But if he finds you before sunrise, he will take your head as his own. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Uh, no. I have to stay up until sunrise playing hide and go seek? Are you kidding me? I've got class in the morning, okay? I ain't got time to be playing games with the headless horseman. Sorry, Jack. I ain't about to do Jack. Not today, man. Uh, dang. And I have to eat the pumpkin? Like what? I have to eat the whole thing just to get good luck? You trying to give me a stomach ache? All right, can we at least bake the pumpkin head into a pumpkin pie? Personally, I prefer sweet potato pie, but uh, you know. It's fine. I oughta smash your pumpkin head with the bat, boy. Don't do it, girl. <gasps> oh no. You're screwed. Uh, Just give uh, up. Just give up. What is it doing? Your mama. What are they doing? Stop it. Stop it, children. I was ready. Children, stop. Just stop. This is your sign, guys. Don't have babies. Don't have babies. This is your sign. Seriously. Oh. Worst oh my god, they're gonna kill me. Gig they're gonna ever. kill me. Oh, they're gonna kill me. Oh my god. Okay. You're good. You're safe. Guys, if that's not enough of a sign to tell you not to have children, then I don't know what is. Hey, I'm not the one in the game, okay? I mean, gee, that's your sign. Look at all these demon kids, like, hanging on the cabinets and shelves. You guys are lucky I left my flamethrower in the other car. I would have <laughs> burned all of y'all. The key is you pour the gasoline first, and then you get the flamethrower, and then watcha. Girl at the top, you look unfazed. You look like you've seen this before. I understand you're anti-children, but uh, you know, some of us would actually like to have a child. Uh, not me, not me, but you know. All these babies just floating in midair. This is why I don't have dolls. And girl, if you show me a scary game like this ever again, I'll slap the earrings off your ears. 
for the scary game before. No. It's called Y Kimono, and it originated in Japan, of course. So this is said to be a very dangerous game. Of course, this is for entertainment purposes only, and that is not true. So here's how to play it. Between the hours of 2 and 3 a.m. before you go to sleep, lay down your bed, starting at the north corner of the ceiling, slowly look at the four corners of the ceiling one by one. Go no. in anti-clockwise. Repeat this three times. Then with your arms crossed over your chest, chant the following three times. Mm -mm. So after you say that, you're supposed to imagine a woman with long black hair slowly creeping towards you. She's dressed in a white kimono that is covered in red stuff. And you know what that is. Yeah. You're supposed to keep imagining this woman coming closer and closer to you until she appears right in front of your eyes. You then uncross your arms, turn off the lights, and go to sleep. So in your dreams, a woman in a white kimono that's covered in you know what? She will appear to you. If she comes close to you, you must not talk to her under any circumstances. She may ask what your name is, but you're not supposed to talk to her. If she begins to say something in your right ear, shake your right hand immediately. This is supposed to wake you up. When you wake up, if you don't see the shadow of a woman in any of the four corners of the room, you're safe. Also, nobody knows what that chant means, and nobody knows what's supposed to happen after you play this. So why would you even play it? If you like scary things, follow for more. Heck no, I ain't following squat. But guys, guys, please follow me. Like, 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 come on. You want me to imagine some woman with long black hair? Uh, no, I'm not a pervert. And she's supposed to come up to me and whisper something in my ear. No, I don't want her, her hot breath up in my ears. This is supposed to be a game. This sounds like a dang ritual. You're not going to get me. Okay. Not today. I mean, not, nice try. Maybe if that woman was holding a nice uh, big old slice of cake, white frosting, then maybe I might talk to her and I might, you know, you know, we might do something. And girl, what is going I can literally see your Invisalign from here. Dang. I appreciate you trying to, you know, straighten your teeth, but <laughs> do it some more else black I man you guys. this leads to um, nothing uh, i thought it was more dogs oh, oh, relax no. Can I save you? plaid pants Can I, save you? I can't save you i can't save you i'm sorry black man you are not from the streets getting that scared over a, a game <laughs> like come on now she is terrifying okay that face at the bottom that that is really scary but you jumped way out of your seat my boy you might as well not even have the green screen behind you because you're gonna break that every time you jump i know black people jump high but dang this man jumping all the way to the ceiling i mean the more you look at the girl she's not that scary she ain't that bad all she wants is for somebody to remove all that makeup that's it any volunteer Volunteers, jump if you volunteer. Yeah, there you go. All right, black man, congratulations. Let's talk about a disturbing enemy from the scariest game I have ever played, Sodorus from Lost in Vivo. Sodorus was an ancient magic king that was banished to the bottom of a well for forcing his subjects to eat rats. Jeez. And before he was thrown into this well, his arm was cut off and his eyes were gouged out. However, using the last of his magic and eating rats himself, he actually survived until he turned into stone. Fast forward into modern times to a scientist named Dr. Pacini. This scientist went absolutely insane from working with rats all day and all night. Eventually, he saw Sodorus in his dreams and concluded that this would be his savior. So, he figured out a way to bring him back. This resurrected version of Sodorus is extremely dangerous, Ew. and you need to maintain a direct line of sight with him because he still has access to one of his magic powers. If you look away, he will teleport to any location in the room around you and you have no idea where he is. He's a terrifying enemy in a horror game I highly recommend. Heck no, man. You want me to play a game where I have to look at that? Ugh, I can't do it. And what kind of sick parents do you have? They named you Sodorus? Ugh. Why couldn't you just be named John? Like dang, or or you know, uh, Matt, uh, something easy. You could have been named Bobby. But no, you just had to do your <laughs> solderous. That sounds like a disease. Oh man, <coughs> I caught the solderous. It's disgusting, man, and I don't want any part of it. Sorry. I know, I know, yeah, I'm a double cup out of me. Relax, girl. It's just a giant pig. Anybody have a translator? Balance. Okay, there you go. Oh, ooh, that was close. Jump! Jump! Ooh, that was... Ooh. You made it. Girl. Hey, good job. You did it. You got him. 
That crazy Get pig is not happy, man. You sound like you're calling for the pigs on the farm, like. And you fell. You suck, girl. Dang, you suck. All that hard work just for you to fall all the way down and fail. Look at you, girl. You're looking silly. Come on, Butterfingers. I need you to get it together. You need to stop playing with chicken grease on your fingers. This is why I always keep a towel nearby, okay? Just in case, you know, you dry off and then you keep it, you know, keep your hands nice and ni ni nice and dry. Kept your mom nice and dry. Left. Okay. Is this the creepiest dark ride to ever exist? Today we're going to be Your talking about the wet. notorious monster mansion <gasps> located at Six Flags. Ew. This ride starts off by you being welcomed by a group of friendly furry monsters. This could be considered creepy, but they're still in the cute territory. You see various scenes of them just having a good time. As the ride progresses, you are warned to stay out of the marsh. Things become increasingly more disturbing. You're brought to an area where the bad monsters live. This evil pig creature rules over them. We won't even talk about how much this ride triggers submechanophobia. It all comes to an end with you being apparently swallowed. What? Let me know if any of you have ever been on this, or if you would go on it. If I would go on this ride? No, Monster Mansion? I've never even heard of this ride, but if they have stuff like that thing in the background with that skinny neck, this girl can't even eat an orange. <laughs> it's gonna get stuck. That's terrifying. I don't wanna go on a ride where I have to look at that thing. That thing's gonna come alive and it's gonna grab you out the boat and then drag you underwater. Ah, girl, look where we pause. Your eyes halfway closed. Come on, girl. Wake up. Come on. Snap out of it. Dang. <gasps> Ooh. We're off to a great start. <laughs> you gotta go. <gasps> Heck no. <laughs> It's time to go. You should have been out of that house by now. Look at his face. He can't even believe. <laughs> he can't believe what he saw. What's wrong, man? You just saw your reflection? <laughs> hey, yes, it is that bad, man. I mean, if something is crawling that fast in the room and then outside, like, bro, do you take your butt the opposite way, get the heck up on out of there, and never come back. Never come black. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.